गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन मिस ने शर्मा योर न्यू इंग्लिश टीचर विल एक्सप्लेन यू द फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ योर सिलेबस दैट इज कैजा बियंका कैजा बियंका बाय फेलिशिया हेमंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पोइट फेलिशिया हेमंस वाज अ फीमेल इंग्लिश पोइट she at a young age was fluent in latin german and french she began writing poetry to help with financial issues writing had become her career a career that would prove successful for this young woman next we will discuss the introduction to the poem felicia hemans earned much fame for this poem The narration is of twelve-year-old child named Kaza Bianca. He died during the Battle of the Nile in seventeen ninety-eight. He keeps asking his father and gets no reply. In the following moments, he gets caught by fire and eventually dies. The poet regrets that a faithful heart is no more. So next, we will discuss poem. The boy stood on the burning deck whence all but he had fled the flame that lit the battle's wreck shone round him over the dead so in first paragraph the poet tells that kaza bianca was standing on the board of the ship which was on fire he was standing alone while all others had left the ship the flames of fire rising on all sides and these flames were shining over dead bodies of soldiers killed in the battle so next we will discuss paragraph 2 yet beautiful and bright he stood as born to rule the storm a creature of heroic blood a proud doubt child like form so in next paragraph poetess tells that the boy stood on the board of the ship in spite of burning flames he looked very handsome brave in the light of these flames he had inherited nobility from his forefathers though he was of tender age he looked brave and proud to carry out the commands of his father so next we will discuss paragraph third the flame the flames rolled on he would not go without his father's word that father faint in death below his voice no longer heard in third paragraph poetess says that flames rushed at kaza bianca but he had resolved not to leave the place unless his father permitted him his father was laying dead in the lower part of the ship so his voice could be heard no more next in paragraph fourth he called aloud say father say if yet my task is done he knew not that the shaft in lay unconscious of his son in fourth paragraph the boy called his father in a loud voice he asked whether the duty assigned to him was completed or not and he didn't know that commander of the ship was unaware about the condition of his son paragraph 5 speak father once again he cried if i may yet be gone and but the booming shots replied and fast the flames rolled on in fifth paragraph the boy again cried and asked his father if he could go he wanted to say more but his voice was drowned in the midst of heavy noise of guns and flames rushed on very fast in next paragraph upon his brow he felt their breath and in his waving hair and looked from that lone post of death in still yet brave despair in paragraph 6 poetess says that the flames rushed at the boy he felt their heat on his forehead and in waving hair though he knew that his death was near but he stood quiet and calm he looked around him from the place of death with bold heart though he was dis 
appointed. Paragraph 7 And shouted but once more aloud, My father must I stay, While over him fast thou sail and shroud, Breathing fires made away. In paragraph 7, the boy once again cried aloud, he wanted to know if it was necessary for him to stay there. Just then the flames rushed through sails and ropes. In paragraph 8, they wrapped the ship in splendor wild. They, thought they caught the flag on high and streamed above the gallant child-like banners in the sky. In paragraph 8, Poetess tells that flames surrounded the ship and covered it on all sides. They even reached the flag which was flying very high. They also surrounded the brave boy like the flag's shadow in the sky. In paragraph 9, there came a burst of thunder sound. The boy, oh, where was he? Ask of the winds that far around with fragments strewed the sea. In suddenly a loud noise was heard there, and no one can imagine that where the body of prayer boy was, only the winds could say which were blowing around the boy that where was he. In next paragraph 10, in these lines, with must and hem and pen and fair that well had borne there. Part. But the noblest thing which perished there was the young faithful heart. In these lines, poetess tells the part played by mast, rider, and flag flying, which is praise worthy. But the noblest thing which died there was the young, obedient, and disciplined heart that was Casabianca. Next, we move towards central idea. The central idea of the poem Casa Bianca is devotion to our duty and to comply with our work even at the cost of our life. As a brave and disciplined soldier, fulfill his duty, he never runs away from the battlefield. He is ready to die in carrying out his duties. So, I hope you understand this poem well. Thank you.